Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and in this video I'm going to talk about standard error. Standard error is one of my favorite statistics, and the reason why is that it shows you how good your data is. And, and let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I collect two data sets. So this is data set one, and this is data set two. If you were to look at the data, you would say, well, this one over here seems to show more precision. It's going to have more data, and it doesn't seem to be spread out as much. But if I were to graph this data, so of these two data sets, if I were simply to create a graph showing the mean or the average of the data, both of them would be 12. And so if I had a bar graph, it would look like this for both data set 1 and data set 2. And so you should never have a bar graph if you're using it to represent a lot of data, unless it has error bars on it. And so how do you figure out what the standard error is? How do you make these standard error bars? Well, let me show you. Um, so basically, I'll work through data set 2, and then I'll ask you to work through data set 1. I'll put the answer down in the description down below. And so to figure out standard error, the equation is really um, ingenious. Basically, all they do is they take the standard deviation, and we divide it by the square root of the sample size. Why is that important? Well, what does standard deviation measure? Standard deviation is going to measure the spread, or how far the data is spread out. And so if you have a lot of spread, then you're going to have a large standard error. And the other thing it uses is the sample size. So the sample size is how much data are you collecting. If you collect a lot of data, and we're going to have a large number here, then that's going to decrease my standard error. Likewise, if I have not much data at all, that's going to increase my standard error. So let's get to standard deviation. If you don't know how to calculate standard deviation, or even what it is and how it measures spread, you're going to go wa want to go watch a video. And so here's a little link I'll put to a video I made on standard deviation. So you, you could simply click here. Or I'll put a link to the standard deviation in the uh, video description down below. But you want to figure out how to do standard deviation. i show you how to do it by hand. And then I'll show you how to use a spreadsheet to calculate standard deviation very, very quickly. And then what is sample size? Well, sample size is going to be the number of trials that you do or the number of data points that you collect. And so if we were to look at data set 2, there are 10 numbers over here. And so that means I'm going to have a sample size of 10. And so keeping those in mind, let me switch over to the spreadsheet and show you how I would figure this out. So right here I'm in Excel. This is going to be data set 2. Again, I'm going to show you how to do that one. And then here's data set 1. So what I'm going to do is, since I've got this column right here, I'm going to first of all calculate the average of that or the mean of that. If you were to type equals M-E-A-N for the mean, nothing will show up. And that's because spreadsheets don't use the word mean. They're going to use the word average. So you can see that that pops up. I'm going to put a le First I hit an equal sign. Then I'm going to write in average and then parentheses. And now I'm going to tell Excel which kind of uh, data I want to figure out the average from. I put an end parentheses and it simply calculates for me that it's 12. Now here's a quick little trick. Um, so I've done the average for this column. If I select this average, and then I move my cursor down here, watch how it changes. So it changes from that to that. And so I can click it now, and then just drag that over here. And Excel is smart enough that it's going to figure out, oh, if you want the average of this, now you want the average of this column. So you can see that the average is going to be the same. Now let me show you how to do the standard deviation. If you did that by hand, it takes forever. And so it's really important that you use either a calculator or a spreadsheet to do this. I'm going to hit equals, and then I'm going to start typing STDEV. That's going to be standard deviation. I'm going to hit a parentheses, then I'm going to select the data. And then I'm going to hit an end parentheses, and there's my standard deviation. Now if we were to compare that to the standard deviation of data set 1, so again, let me do that trick. I'm going to select this, move this over here. You can see the data set 1 has a much larger standard deviation. That means it's going to have a greater spread in the data. But I'm going to figure out the standard error of this first one. So this is 0.825. And so how do I, I'm going to remember these numbers here and then switch back and figure it out. So let me write down the things that I need to know. So my x bar, or my mean, I said is going to be 12. The n, or the sample size we said, is going to be 10 in data set 2 because I have 10 um, values over here on the right. And then the standard deviation that I just calculated is going to be 0.826. And I did that in Excel. So how do I figure out the standard, or standard error? So the standard error of the mean is simply going to be the standard deviation, which is 0.826. And then I'm going to divide that by the square root of the sample size. And the square root of the sample size is going to be 10. And so this is equal to 0.826. 
to 6 divided by the square root of 10. I'm going to need my calculator right here. And that is going to be 3.6. And then I have to figure out, so let me write that down. So that's 3.16. And then uh, if I take 0.826 divided by 3.16, I get 0.261. So 0.261 is my standard error, or standard error of the mean. So you could figure out the standard error of the data set 1. Remember in data set 1, we simply had two values, 9 and 15. And so if you want to figure out the standard error of those, and so you make sure you're doing that right, you could do that, and I'll put the values down below. Um, but what does this all mean? Well, let me show you why this is super important. So if we go over here and look at our graph again, so I just figured out the um, standard error of data set 2. And so what that means is data set 2, my mean is 12. And so the average is 12. But I could add an error bar on the top, like that. And then I could add an error on the bottom. And my standard error is going to be, we said, 0.261. In other words, it goes from 12 up to 12.261, and then from 12 down to 12 minus 0.261. So we're going to have an error bar on each side. What you could do is go figure out set 1. Uh, set 1, you're going to have a much larger standard deviation. You're going to have a smaller sample size. And so I would imagine you're going to have pretty big error bars. And so what's neat about that is the bar graph now with those standard error bars is going to show me um, kind of the story. It's going to tell me about the data behind the mean or the data behind the average. And so that's standard errors. It's pretty straightforward. It's simple. You're probably going to need a spreadsheet to do it. And I hope that was helpful.